Hello, it's Tower here from TD Aesthetics. I'm doing a little bit of a different type of video today. I wanted to use this opportunity to talk to you guys about what dermal filler actually looks like <clears throat> outside of the syringe. So during lockdown, obviously, um, I had a few um, lots and lots actually of my dermal filler products expired. So I was thinking about different ways that I can use them to maybe educate people about what dermal fillers actually look like and how much one mil actually appears to be in reality when it's not being injected into your face. So I have one mil syringe here of an unused but expired um, TSI RHA1, which is a hyaluronic acid based dermal filler. It's cross-linked, but it's very, very light weight. So where I would typically use this type of filler would be, for example, to kind of use this almost as an injectable moisturizer because it doesn't have the firmness that you would expect for filler that you might be using around the cheeks or even allow around the nasal labial area to sort of smooth out those deeper lines that you tend to get. So this would be maybe for smoker's lines on the top lip or where you've got a lot of dehydration in the skin and it's puckering the skin. So I'm just going to show you what one mil of this filler actually looks like injected. So I hope you can see this okay. So you can see as I'm injecting, it's actually quite light. It comes out of the syringe really easily. And one mil is basically that little lump there. It's not a lot to it. So when you go along to your aesthetic practitioner, and you say, will one mil do all of this, and this, and this, and this, and my jawline as well? The answer in short is no, because that little drop is one mil. And if you want volumization across your whole face, you're really gonna have to invest a little bit more than one syringe. On the flip side, I'd also like to show you a mil of a slightly firmer filler so you can see the difference in the consistency of fillers between one that we would use, as I said, with the RHA1 as an injectable moisturiser because it's quite light and it allows for plenty of movement across the face. And one like this, which is Juvederm Ultra 3, which is a lot firmer and which you'd use for areas where you want a little bit more structure, so across the mid face. So I'm just going to show you what, again, this expired syringe, which I'm not going to use on anyone, um, what the contents actually look like as you push through an injection. So you can see this is a lot firmer. You can see how it's holding its shape and structure far more than the RHA1 did because these fillers are created for entirely different indications. Again, one mil doesn't give you a huge amount of product. So when you're thinking about how much you need to volumize your cheeks, if you wanted to highlight your cheekbones, for example, or you wanted to smooth out your jawline, then you would need a lot more than one mil to achieve the desired result. And most likely you would need more than one session as well. So I hope this has given you a little bit more input and insight into why practitioners would suggest that you would need more than one syringe for one area of the face or even across the whole face. Because as you can see, one mil of product won't get you very far at all. If you've got any questions or you'd like to talk to me in more detail about dermal fillers and what the treatment involves, then by all means, seek me out on my socials. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and also on my website, www.tdaesthetics.com. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.